Polly, you're going to take us through a new movement that's going to appear in S&M. Give us a little rundown. What is it? Uh, we've got a few variations of vaults. Here are four variations. Sick. Safety vault. Looks like this. Notice I land my foot on my way out. Yeah. Touch the floor and control my way out. Again. Then you can start to do that with a little bit of speed. Nice. What's the second variation? We have the speed vault. Handy for getting away from someone. You. Going into it with a certain amount of momentum, losing the least amount of momentum as possible. You. So, just quickly, similar to the safety vault, I launch off my right foot, I plant my right hand. I lean a little bit to the side. I don't put my feet on top of the box. On the other side, I'm going to land on the other foot. The other foot from the one you jump off? Exactly. Okay. And I'll run out. I'll do it one more time. Yeah. Third, we got the lazy. Oh, lazy box. Two boxes. This one's not necessarily easier or harder than the second, it's just a different variation, right? This one would be if you're hitting an object, in this case a couple of boxes, on an angle and you want to maintain momentum. Yep. And you also want to be in control throughout the movement. Yeah. Bit of, bit of butt slide there. Bit of butt slide. Oh yeah, no butt slide, more advanced. Butt slide's okay for style points sometimes. <laughs> so, a bit of a scissor kick, I jump off the outside leg, plant my right hand, so left foot down, right hand down, to scissor up, one leg over, other hand, foot comes up, this hand will end up swapping with my right hand, and I'll be pushing off to maintain forward momentum in the same line that I've begun with. Sick. Variation four is the Kong Bolt. It requires some mobility in the hips, and definitely power and uh, confidence. Oh yeah. I'd like to see um, a lot of the people get through the safety vault and all the other variations first before just lobbing over this box. Because I know a lot of people will be capable of doing this, but actually the safety vault will be even more challenging for them. Passing over the object, my feet don't touch the floor, uh, the boxes at all. Yeah. I jump off one foot. I need to actually dive from a little further out, just to keep a more flat pass over angle, as opposed to an up and over. Yeah. So I can maintain efficient momentum forward. Two feet, two hands on the box. There's a tuck knee through. Bit of ab compression, I spit out the other side and I land ideally on one foot into my stride and I continue. Have fun this next phase, people. Don't be afraid of them. Happy training.